Alright guys, it's Ran here from Wrestling Lists. So as this video is going up, I will actually be on holiday, I'll be on vacation. Um, these videos I've scheduled to be released in my absence. So what I thought I would do, um, well one of the things that I'm going to do is play some old school WWF video games. Now, <clears throat> I do know that this uh, certainly isn't you know what everyone would expect from the channel uh, you guys are used to seeing the wrestling lists uh, the the wrestler profile videos that I put together and you know that's totally cool I understand that um, I just wanted to keep some content coming into the channel uh, while I'm gone uh, I will be taking my laptop with me also but to be quite honest the laptop isn't great so um, I'm hope I've got some audio uh, already pre-recorded, some uh, wrestler profiles, uh, videos. Uh, well, I've got the audio done, so I'm hoping I'll be able to edit it up uh, while on holiday and get a couple of those videos out for you. Uh, so, as I say, just in the meantime, these are just a couple of videos uh, of gameplay. I'm going to be playing these games. We'll try to talk a bit through it, talk about the roster. Talk about their old matches, maybe my favourite matches from people in the roster, uh, things like that. Also, um, on the screen you should see little facts and things like that pop up about, about the game, about the roster, about the people in it. It's just to keep it interactive and stuff. I know the majority of my subscribers are history buffs, They're, they like their old school wrestling, so I'll try to keep little things on the screen just to keep it, just to keep it interesting. So this is uh, the game that I'm playing here today is WWF Raw on the Super Nintendo. Uh, this was released, I want to say, was it 93? 93 or 94? Um, but this game is interesting because it features Luna Vachon. Now the reason why it's interesting is Luna is actually the first female to ever uh, grace a WWF game. The very first woman to ever be in our WWF wrestling game was Luna Vachon. So what we'll do is, um, is, is there not like a career mode in this or? We'll do a Raw Endurance match um, and we'll pick Luna uh, just just in honour of, just in honour of the video that we made for Luna and also just because this is the first time uh, a woman has been in a wrestling game, so here she is. Player one, choose a wrestler to start. Choose a wrestler, start to pass. Oh, so I picked more than one wrestler here. I I don't even know what this endurance mode is. Um, I also forgot. Let's go for the kid. Choose a wrestler. I don't know what's going on here. I will pick Shawn Michaels, and let's pick Doink. I'm just going to press start to pass. Okay, my opponent, my opponents are Lex Luger, Bret Hart, Diesel, and Yokozuna, and Undertaker. <laughs> What's going on? Oh, so this must be like um, some sort of gauntlet match. Um, okay, let's give it a go. So first up is Lex Luger from the Lex Express. Guys, also this is a new microphone that I'm using. Um, I'm not too sure if it's going to be picking up button presses and stuff like that. Um, I'm playing this uh, using an Xbox One controller. But um, apologies if the audio isn't great. I'm going to show you a little trick, uh, easy way to, oh shit, uh, an easy way to win at this game every time is if you knock out the referee, the AI, the AI is really shit, so if you can knock out the referee like that, and then just go down here, they'll always follow you out, pick up a chair, oh no, just put it back, pick it up, it's making an asshole out of me now, there we go, just get in as many shots as you can while they're a ref, and just go back in, take out, I think if you take out the ref a certain amount of times he will leave. But yeah, if you just keep doing that, you'll win very quickly. Oh. 
This would have been released around about the time where the company was trying to go with Lex Luger, with the Lex Express business, and then eventually the Allied Powers with the British Bulldog. I think Luna's finisher should be from the top rope. Uh, maybe it has, has to be closer. Let's try here. No, it's still not happening. It's the thing with these games, it's so picky. Right, come on, out of the way, ref. Uh, nope. Jesus, how close does he have to be? I don't know. Let's just pin him. There we go. So, yeah, this must be just a gauntlet match. Um, we should be able to get through everybody with Luna. So, here comes the Hitman. So let's try our little, little, little take out the ref. Oh sh! Do a very good job of it there. There we go. So oh shit, Brad Hart with a suplex. Yeah, when the ref's down, you can rake the eyes and choke and stuff as well. I used to, you know, when I was younger, I was pretty addicted to this game, actually. Or the refs back up. Didn't do it in time. You know, I'd love to do a video on Bret Hart as well, but, you know, one of the wrestler profile videos, but it, Bret Hart's been done to death. So that's one of the things about the channel as well. I want to try to do stuff that hasn't really been covered too much. Yeah, I know the mass transit stuff's been covered quite frequently, but it's uh you know, I'm just trying to get away from what everybody else is doing. And it seems that you guys, uh, the viewers on the channel, you know, they like their older stuff. They like the stuff from the 80s. They like their stuff from the 90s. So... But as I say, Bret Hart has been done so many times. It just gets a little tricky to, to think of subjects that haven't been covered. And also the subjects have to be interesting as well. You know, on top of that. So that's Bret Hart out. This is actually pretty easy. Um, Steezel, we're going to... Take him out nice and early. Fuck up those quads, boy. So the buttons to do the choke and the uh, eye rake uh, doesn't work until the referee has, has been taken out. Diesel looks like Mark Morrow a bit <laughs> in this game. DDT from Luna. Uh, another video that will be going up soon as well. Uh, another one of my uh, favourite games and a game that I'm actually pretty good at uh, is WrestleMania the arcade game. I've watched a lot of people play WrestleMania the arcade game on YouTube and there's a lot of... <laughs> Uh, dare I say, yeah, fucking button motion going on whenever I see people play that game. Um, uh, it's, I'm not going to say, you know, I'm the absolute best at it, but with Shawn Michaels and Razor Ramon, I can get out some pretty big uh, super combo. Well, not super combos. Uh, can get out some big, pretty big combos with them. So that'll that'll definitely be going up so soon. I'll probably record that. Maybe record it later. And schedule it to release the day after this video goes up. Oh, look at that. Look at the way her leg extends. Oh, what? Is this glitched? Oh, shit. Slow count, ref. Jeez. Looks like a 10 count.
Yoko looking really slim. Let's take this one to the outside. And both wrestlers, as you can see, have a oh, they have a separate count. Luna's finishing this was the Luna Eclipse, which I was pretty sure is a top rope move. Not unless you have to be in a certain corner, maybe. Wonder, wonder if you have to do it like down, down in one of these corners, one of these turnbuckles. Yoko Zuna has never been this slim. Uh, oh, that's a good idea. Maybe a Yoko Zuna video in the future. So he was involved in some. Nope. He was involved in some pretty big angles and some some memorable stuff with Yokozuna. The casket match with the Undertaker comes to mind straight away. I wonder if hold on. I wonder if she's actually no, it's definitely a top rope move. Her finish is definitely a top rope move. Maybe they have to be groggy. Standing up. I don't know. Is that it, or is there one more? One more. Ah, uh, the dead man. Now I am truly fucked. Hey, there's um, Undertaker, who is recently scheduled here in the UK to do a Q&A session, uh, along with a meet and greet. It's a company called Inside the Ropes. Uh, they usually get over, uh, they will usually fly over big superstars, big names. Um, previously they've had Shawn Michaels and stuff, but they do these Q&As and meet and greets and Undertaker was scheduled for one of these Q&As and it's turned out that he has actually pulled out. He's still strangely doing the meet and greet, but he isn't doing the Q&A. With the rumour being that WWE has blocked him from doing it. And he has been replaced by Mick Foley. With no disrespect to Mick Foley, but Mick Foley has been in the UK a lot of uh, a lot of times. And oh no! And yeah, so there's a lot of pissed off Undertaker fans. Uh, 